Hey, welcome back y'all. So today we're going to talk about the fill up and down feature in Power BI, which is going to help you optimize your data on the receiving end within Power Query. Check this out. All right, so let's just say, for example, that we have a table of data that came in from a source, whether it's SharePoint, SQL database, or something else, and we have missing rows of data within a column. Now, fill up or down is going to allow you to essentially take the data that's there present within a certain row, and you could either push all those values up and or push them down as well to replicate that value that's kind of in there. So all we're going to do is we're going to simply select the column that we're looking at here. So first, we're going to do department. I'm going to go on transform, and I'm going to click on fill. Now the option to fill up or down. So this is essentially going to take whatever values that are here and either push them down or push them up. So we're going to click on down. And then you see how everything has been pushed down because it fills in essentially all those rows that have no values in them based upon the row that's above them. Now, as you can see, there's a row that doesn't have the data in it at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill up and it's just going to populate that value too. Now this is going to be helpful if you know the exact data that you're looking at and is based upon the organization or structure that you know very well, right? Because you don't want to assume anything based upon a department or certain attribute. Now same thing as well, what we can do here is we can just replicate the data as well. For this one, we can probably fill up. And if I scroll down, as you can see, there's some values that are not filled in, so I'm just going to fill down as well. And now I can operate by using this time and date stamp on the front end and kind of slice and dice however I want. Now, all these steps are going to be saved within your applied steps within Power Query. So if you mess up, you can always delete them. But just keep in mind that this is going to be super helpful when it comes to accommodating for any values that are not present or is connected via API or SQL tables and you're just missing values and you just want to ensure that there's no gap when it comes to those values. And there's a lot of assumptions that are made here too. So if you have a specific use case, this will be super helpful just closing that data gap. Now just keep in mind there is some risk associated with this because it does assume that the people above or below or the items above and below are those same attributes as well. But hopefully this video was able to help you out. Let me know your thoughts down below and thanks for watching, yo.